guys! Welcome back to another vlog. Angel D here and thank you for dropping by. For today's video, I'm gonna talk about my favorite brand and this is called Ankylist. So I think I actually have a lot of uh, uh, skincare in this brand in the under Ankylist. So I think I'm just gonna uh, call this vlog Ankylist series. I've been uh, using the Ankylist for uh, I think in this pandemic, maybe around five months, five to six months, yeah. Um, as you all know before, I'm really, really had a lot of breakouts and uh, pimples and mask me and all the stuff. And I, I am watching different vlogs on how to cure the active pimples and inflammation. And um, I watched the vlog of Hiram. Yeah, and sinabi niya doon na Inkylist is one of the most affordable um, skincare that can help you in your uh, acne problem. So yeah, so if you have a uh, guy's acne problem, I think the best uh, the best skincare is the retinol. Okay, so yeah guys, I know it's kind of a bit scary. Okay, retinol, retinoids, what is that? I'm gonna explain that to you. Yeah, so now I am using retinol from Inkylist. So kagaya nyo, initially I'm also scared of using retinol. I think um medyo akala ko nung una it's a uh, harsh on your skin. Uh hindi siya pwede in 20s, maybe uh, anti-aging lang siya ganyan. So, but then when I started to use the retinol, it's like life-changing. Okay, medyo oh okay yon. Pero na wala talaga yung mga pimples ko. And, hindi na ako super super nagbe-break out kagaya nung dati. And, yeah guys, I think if you really have sensitive skin, uh, it's okay to use retinol, but be careful in using retinol. Um, if you have acne prone skin, and kung pinaproblema mo na ang dami mong breakouts, mga malalaking pimples, inflammation, red, you use retinol. Sometimes, serum is not enough. And our moisturizers are not enough, but I think you have to level up your skincare routine by using retinol on your skincare. So what is this retinol and what is it all about and why did I choose uh, Inkylist? So there are many retinols under the market. We have different brands of retinol and some of the brands are really expensive because retinol is really one of those expensive um, ingredients kagaya ng mga niacinamide, you know, hyaluronic acid, yan, sila yung mga dapat present sa ating mga skincare routine. So, Inkylis, I think this is one of the most gentle retinol that I used. It has 1% in it, and it acts like serum, kasi merong mga naka-infuse kay, merong mga naka-infuse sa kanya to make it serum type. Yung iba kasi, bukod sa retinol, nagsisirong pa din sila. So, as much as possible, I just wanna make my skincare routine simple as possible. I believe that less product is more. So, yeah. This is actually in uh, $10. Yeah, maybe around $10 to $15. Yeah, and so... Um, ang naaalala ko kay retinol is something like the ordinary. Yung, ganun yung mga line nila. Parang mga... It, they are focusing more on the ingredients, on how these powerful ingredients can really help you in our skin. So, actually, dalawa yung aking retinol. Nag-hoard na talaga ako dahil just in case maabusan. They are also available in Sephora and they are always, always out of stock. So, if you guys really are looking for this, at may nakita kayo na they are on sale or they are available, just get it. Just get it. Okay? So, yeah, I have two. Itong isa, hindi ko pa nabubuksan. Pero itong isa, though it's just uh, 30 ml, but it will last you for so long, you know. A little retinol can go along the way. I think I'm using this for 3 to 4 months. Yeah, and guess how much is it? It's only like $10 plus, okay? Maybe mga 300 to 500 pesos lang siya. And it's so mura na, you know. Okay, what it says here is uh, retinol. It has 1% of um, retinol inside, it helps to reduce the sign of aging. So, um, kaya yun yung nasabi ko sa inyo kanina, na akala ko lang is retinol is for skin aging lang. Akala ko for wrinkles, ganyan. Kaya kapag medyo mga in your 30s, yun, you just start to use retinol. Pero mali pala ako. Dapat pala, uh, as early as you can, 
as early as you think that your skin needs it, you just use retinol para ma-prevent na yung mga wrinkles, anti-aging, ganyan, yung mga pimples natin, especially if you have a pim uh, if you have a skincare like me, a uh, skin 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 type like me, my skin type is acne prone skin at saka sensitive. So you can ang gusto ko din kay Inkelist is they are really teaching you, they are really educating the people on how to use the product. So, kapag nakita mo siya dyan, meron dito cleanse, hydrate, treat, uh, ano pa ba, moisturize, and SPF. So, Rizzi Retinol is under serum. So, after, what I do is after I put my retinol, after I put my toner, then I'm just gonna put the retinol. Okay? It is made to layer in any order. That's why I like this. Kasi yung ibang retinol, um, they are really very specific. Like, um, uh, after serum, pwede siya. Okay? So, maybe um, you put one serum first, then after that, you're gonna use the retinol, and then so on. Pero itong si retinol, kahit saan, kahit saan, kahit anong serum mo siya, pwedeng i-layer. Ayan. But just be careful because the retinol is a very, very sensitive uh, ingredients then so you just you just have to know your skin and you just have to feel your skin on what is your skin telling you okay and how to use this use this in the pm only because retinol is very sensitive on the uh, very sensitive to sun okay so if you're gonna use a retinol it is a must have to use a sunscreen kasi uh, mas na the damage ng skin natin to environmental damage kapag hindi tayo nagsa-sunscreen or hindi tayo nagsa-sunblock, especially if we are using retinol. So, just make sure to use this at night and then the next day, you just put your sunscreen on. Okay, so after our uh, cleansing or kung hindi ka naman nagtotoner or kung nagtotoner ka, you just put your toner and you just put your retinol and amount, uh, just right amount on your face and your neck. Okay, and um, usually, if you're a newbie, kagaya ko, we don't use retinol every single day, okay? Just be mindful of that, okay? You just use it every maybe fortnightly or maybe three times a week or two times a week, okay? Depending on your skin needs. So, it, let's say uh, your skin is very sensitive, I really suggest to use it once a week or twice a week. And then, um, kapag nagtagal ka na at nakita mo na okay ang skin mo kapag gumagamit ng retinol and then mag maybe you just add on maybe one more, maybe three times a week and so far. It depends on your skin needs, okay? So, for me, no una, I'm using it twice a week. And then, nakikita ko, I do have positive results in it. Yung inflammation, hindi na masyado. Yung mga redness, hindi na masyado. Yung mga active pimples ko, hindi na din masyado. I'm so thankful. Actually, I'm really, really so thankful. Hindi na bumpy yung mukha ko. Though I, can, though I do still have some breakout sometimes, but it's very, very minimal, okay? So, if I know na, uy, parang magkakapimple sa ako ngayon na, so, I apply retinol na. So, you just... Be consistent in using retinol. And I tell you guys, hindi ako mapapahiya sa pag recommend ng retinol sa inyo. Okay? So, actually, you can use any brand of retinol. But I'm just saying that this brand is really good. It's really amazing, you know? it It's just good. Wala na masabi. Really amazing lang talaga siya. So, I think the product is really focusing on the retinol. Wala na siyang masyadong eme. Wala nang wala nang mga nakahalong ganitong ingredients. So, it's really good. We are really maximizing the use of retinol. Okay? So, it's under the ink list. By the way, this, uh, this video is not sponsored how I wish it is. Uh, binili ko talaga siya. I'm just sharing my experience. Okay? Just be mindful that we all have different um, skin types. So, yeah, I'm just um, saying na kung gagamit kayo ng retinol, just be careful. Okay? And um, yeah, so this is what the retinol looks like. The Inkelist color scheme is usually black and white. Yeah, mostly of the packaging are black and white. Ayan, makikita nyo. Oopsie daisy! Yan, okay, one more thing. Retinol is very, very sensitive, okay? So you must uh, store them in a proper place. Hindi pwedeng laging naiinitan. Yung ibang mga retinol, they are on uh, bottles. 
Ayan, and medyo nakikita nila na they are turning into very orangey type. Lalo na kung medyo exposed sa sun, okay? So, be careful in uh, keeping your retinol, okay? So, retinol looks like this. Okay, mostly karamihan ng mga retinol medyo orange type talaga. Not orange, sorry, yellowish. Konti lang, ayan. Sige na nga, para makita nyo. Paubos na kasi siya. Hindi naman halatang gamit na gamit ko siya, ano? Yan. Basta, ang, ang laking tulong talaga sa akin itong retinol na to. Ang laking nang naitulong sa confidence ko. Yeah. I think this pandemic is, ang natu natulong talaga sa akin ng pandemic na to is uh, more on um, helping my skin. Ayan. So, ganito siya. It actually blends well on your skin. So, after you cleanse, after you tone, just put it. And it blends well on your skin. It's not sticky. Yan, medyo... Yung amoy niya medyo... Hindi naman mabaho, hindi naman disturbing. Hindi din naman siya mabango. Pero actually, very minimal lang yung amoy niya. Hindi ko, siya mas... hindi ko masyadong ma-describe yung amoy. Amoy chemical or what. Pero it's... No eh. Which is just... I think a little bit of chemical yung amoy niya. Pero hindi siya very disturbing, okay? So it really won't bother you. And yeah, that's it. Okay, so ang bilis niya i-blend, ma-absorb siya ng skin mo, and you can still put your moisturizer. Okay, hindi siya yung makapal, makapal ilagay. Yan. Noong una guys, okay, if you're new in using retinol, you will feel some side effect. What are those? Okay, iba-iba, depende sa, depende sa yo, depende sa skin mo. Yung na-feel ko noong una dito is nagdadry yung aking balat. Okay, so um, let's say the next day I'm gonna put powder or makeup. Napapansin ko na medyo flaky yung balat ko dito. Dito yan sa my lower chin. Parang nag, uh, nagpapanit balat at saka yung kamay ko nagpapanit balat. Kasi usually uh, after ko maglagay ng skin, irarab ko pa sa kamay ko para hindi sayang. And then I realize ko that my skins are so dry. Sabi ko, bakit ganun? I apply moisturizer. So, naisip ko, wala naman akong inad sa skincare routine ko. Yung retinol lang naman. So, maybe that's the that's the side effect. Yung iba kong napanood sa YouTube, yung mga yung mga side effect nila sa retinol is um, medyo humapde, may sting ng konti, especially if you have active pimples. Pero, um, if your skin can tolerate that, just keep on going on. Okay? Just keep on using it. Sa so, una lang siya. Okay? But then, Ah, uh, syempre bago yung yung product mo na ini na ini-infuse at pinapenetrate sa ating skin, di ba? So, at some point maiintindihan mo yung skin kung bakit siya nag nag nagre-react nang ganon. Pero kung ipagtutuloy-tuloy mo siya, you can see a good result. Ngayon, hindi na ako nagfi-flaky. Hindi na din medyo hindi na din uh, dry yung lower part ng aking skin. Okay? Dito 'yan. Usually dito. Nung una, sabi ko talaga, grabe yung pagpapanit balat. Okay? Then, I uh, just apply moisturizer. Ganun lang naman. Kapag nakikita nyo na dry yung skin nyo, just apply moisturizer. Usually, ganun yung ginawa ko. At nag-okay naman siya sa akin. And then, I think, when I use that after a week, and then, siguro, nung mga sumunod na, na week, nakaramdam na ako ng uh, side effect. And then, mga 2 weeks siguro yon Or 2 to 3 weeks siguro yon And then, after that, everything goes well. Ayan, ayan o, no? wala na. So, wala na kayong mafe-feel na kahit na ano sa face nyo, hindi nyo mararamdaman na naglagay kayo ng serum, hindi nyo alam na gumagamit kayo ng retinol, parang wala talaga siyang, parang wala talaga siyang, some, wala kang nilagay. Parang ganon, it feels so magic, okay? So, yeah, that's why I don't think I can live without retinol na sa aking skincare kasi ang laking tulong talaga niya, guys. So, kung natatakot kayo na mag-retinol, um, I suggest you go for this brand. At saan nga ba nabibili ang brand na to? It's um, available via Sephora. Uh, available din siya online. Okay? So, pwede kayo mag-purchase online. Meron ako nakikita na na mga legit Instagram accounts na nagbebenta ng mga na mga uh, inkless products. So, I think you can uh, check it out, guys. It's really, this is really a good one, okay? So, yeah, I think that's my experience in uh, using the retinol under Inky List. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And just wait for another 
um, another review of uh, Inkless product. I'm just gonna put down the link below so you can guys check it out kung ano ba yon at kung ano yon experience ko doon and maybe you can guys try it too. Uh, just leave me a comment or uh, hit the notification button if you have notification button if you haven't subscribed to my channel and I see you guys in my next Inkless episode. Bye! Bye.